Hi there, it's Shell. And Clint is still in the house. So, uh, it's still Sunday. We are going to continue building into our papers. So, typically I like to order, um, pick out my papers, and then do anything that needs gluing in or sewing before we actually sew it into our signature. So, that's what we're working on. And you know what? I should probably make sure that these are going to fit in my journal. You know, you think they are, and then you're like, uh oh. Yeah, they're going to be fine. So, that's what they're going to look like. And you don't want tons of signatures in there until, um, I mean, you want it pretty flat. Because by the time we put all of our embellishments and ephemera, going to be really chunky. Trust me, I learned the hard way. <laughs> I used to put so many papers in there that I couldn't decorate it. So, okay, so what we want to do, I want something here, and I have an idea. Uh, the other day when I was going through some ephemera, ephemera is something that maybe typically you would throw away. I just want to see this. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm going to have to do something with those. Um, that's what ephemera is. But, I mean, we have tons of stuff to go in this journal. We have this. Isn't that pretty? It's going to be perfect in there. Okay. Right. Let me figure out where I put my cards. I have some beautiful um, rose cards that I found in my stash that I really want to use in here. Sorry. I wonder where I put them. I might have to go dig some more out. <laughs> Story of my life. It's missing right in front. I mean, it's right in front of you, but you can't find it. Uh, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I just sat them over here like an hour ago. I thought I did anyways. Okay, let me go get some more or turn this off and I'll look for them. See if I can't find them. Be right back. Okay, I found them. So, uh, these beautiful little cards. Aren't those cute? I think that's what we're going to do is we are going to decorate the front one with this card anyways. Because I have so much um, empty space right here. I consider putting a um, like a big piece of lace, but we could do that and then put this there. I just feel like this journal needs tons of lace. Nope, I'm not going to put the lace. We're going to put this here though, and I'm going to look at my scraps and see what I can use. Ooh, I have this big scrap. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. We're going to utilize this scrap of paper. Um, where's my little ruler? So we want it to be no more than three. So let's do. Do it by six. Cut it down just a little bit under six. So do five and three quarters. And I want to tell you the length. This is right at six. Yeah, right around six. Then I'm going to fold this. <coughs> made these before, but we're going to make them a little bit different today. Um, inspired by Gail's channel, though she's not the one that came up with it. She's one of her subscribers. So If you came up with it, then let us know. Still looking for my 
bone folder. Did I put it up? Did not. If I put it up, I'd know where it was. Okay. Okay, so this is going to go here. Okay, like that. And then I wanted these. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. I think we're going to sew this, but first I want just a little, like, thumb hole on both sides of these. Now, typically what you would do is you'd cut down the piece to the size of your card, but we're not going to do that because I want to use this whole piece of paper. So... I'm going to put one of these on either side. And I think we're going to sew them on just to give it some interest. <clears throat> just a little glue. Hold it in place while I am sewing. just a minute. It doesn't take too long for the art glitter glue, especially when you put really thin layer. So I'm just going to kind of match it up. You're not really going to see both of them at the same time. And I think I want to trim the... So these are going to be little pockets and I forgot to ink it. I'm going to wear it for my inker. <laughs> had to move it because it was right there. That one fell. Okay, I'll come back later and ink it. I don't know. I don't know what I did with it. So, and then I'm just going to use this little guy. To round the corners, I just feel like they really needed to be rounded. I did not fold that very well. That's fine, you're not going to see that anyways. i got to remind myself of that. It's crazy though that I don't even see my ink. tiny thing it's very bizarre okay whatever I'm not gonna look for it actually I am because okay I'll link it later like I said <laughs> just don't mind me okay now I'm gonna go around these we're gonna sew maybe it's behind my sewing machine do straight stitch. This is a brother machine. It's just a really inexpensive one that I got from Amazon. I don't want to sew all the way around it because I want it to be a pocket. So everywhere but the top of it. I'm using like an off-white machine. So or Red. But I like this. Um, I like adding sewing to these journals. You can add so much to the beauty of them.
I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see if I can't find that. I don't know, it was behind me. I think I was just looking for a place to set it. So I am gonna just put a little bit of ink around the edges. I'm using my awesome um, Distress Ink Inker and Dauber because my husband makes those. So if you're looking for one, I have people constantly saying, I finally found these. <laughs> so they're all over the internet. They're just hard for, hard for you to find us. But we now have some in green. Some in mahogany, though I think he's going to take a break from those for a, a little bit. So if you want some, there's still some in the store, possibly. There we go. And make that into a little spot for tags. So we have two spots for tags. We'll have one here, one here, one here. Okay, we're going to put this on, but we are going to sew it again. Just double check that it's straight and everything. Of course, it's not a shell from this. So really, it can come out just a little. Why isn't it staying? <laughs> okay, I want to put it on both sides. Come up to the. I didn't put enough glue. There we go. Okay, I'll put it here. That'll be kind of cute though, won't it? And then I also have this beautiful ribbon that I believe it means in this as well. And if we go ahead and pop that down, we can uh, sew that on at the same time. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Just a little bit of glue just to hold it in place for us. So, so yeah, you want to do, you know, everything like this. Um, sewing and everything before you actually sew it into your journal. I wonder if that's going to stay. I don't think it is. <laughs> thing with lace is it kind of soaks up your glue and doesn't necessarily stay put. Okay. Let that dry for a minute. We want to look at this other one. See, then this is, sorry, let me show you real quick. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. That is going to be so pretty. Okay, so let me look at this other journal, or other signature, and we're going to see how we, if we want to put, like, the other card in, because I have three of them. We could even put that, like, down here. That'd be cute, huh? We'll do that, and then we'll sew around that one, too. Hold on, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, them pole. Ooh, it kind of got windy. Just a little glue on each side. And typically I would do a uh, show ya, a belly band. It's a little bit long but I think we're just going to make it work in these, you know. Because I was thinking my pages were going to be 8 inches. If I trim them, I will mess it all up on it. That's okay. We're going to just make them long. I think that'll be fine. Uh, do I want it in this one? Why not? Why not? Oh, I was going to put music paper or something. That's okay. If it bothers me, I can come back and just trim it. You know. It should only be about a half an inch. I want it to be up higher. Or do I want it to be down and trim? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut an inch off this. And on the bottom. That way we still have the curved part on the top. I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half. I have to do all my gluing again, but that's okay. Ooh, I might can even make it work. Hold on. Hold on. None of it's glued. So, nice. I can make it work. I can get it on this one, but we're going to try. Ooh, it worked. Nice. Cool. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that around my edges. I'm going to sew it in. Take these little guys out. So just put a touch of glue just to hold it in place. some of this lace too. I think that'd be really pretty in there. Yep. This I'll just glue on. But I like that. 
better than that ribbon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our sewing. <clears throat> Let me make some room. Okay, you get over there. I'm not going to sew on the other side, just the two that need to be. I don't want to do a zigzag. really pretty. I like that. I tell you, you can come up with things, you know, just trying to figure out something to fill that space. And isn't that beautiful? I love that. Okay, so now I am going to move to the other signature. And so on this. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a zigzag as well, just because I don't have as much interest here. Try to do it just on the edge. awfully pretty, isn't it? Just looks so classy and then we'll put a cute little tag in there. So this one goes back over here. And then we'll do this one. Actually I might go ahead and sew on the lace too.
doesn't look too bad. lot of layers to go through. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay though, huh? There we go. Kind of got that pretty straight, so that I'm happy with that. Let's move this out of the way. hang in just a just a touch I'm just gonna trim it. There we go. I think I am gonna glue that down just because it's kinda kinda moving a bit. That's okay. I had that one ribbon but I like this better so that and that having sewn that we'll keep that in in place and then these little guys this is a full um, kind of go through all the areas <laughs> so it's like a really fun belly band I think and then I did kind of glue it right there so but yeah then we'll put that let's see what else we want to add to this beautiful where did I put that? Is that supposed to go in the center? No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll put it right there. Okay, let me move some of this stuff. I don't even know why this is on my desk. <coughs> I should do a uh, cleaning up my desk or something. Only crafting with what's on my desk, right? Okay, so let's look and see what we have left to go in this journal. To see if there is anything that... I want to sew in. So. I love that. I think that's so pretty. Okay, because I have been working for pink and red and um, all that good stuff. Here's one. I made that one too big too, didn't I? I sure did. It's okay. I think we can still trim it maybe and still but then that's going to take it. That's okay. We'll make it work. Um, let's see. And then I have my pink rose items in here. We have those and that. And that. Isn't that cute? It's going to be cute. That. Oh, and then this. <laughs> I actually have quite a bit done, don't I? And then I also have, where's my container that has all my pink rose stuff in it? I wonder where I put that. Okay, let me get it. Okay, so I got all my <laughs> stuff to go in this journal. We may not need much, much more. Um, I did want to think about a fabric flip, and I have an idea. Okay, so I have this, um, um, pillowcase and I was thinking that would be so pretty as a fabric flip in this journal so it looks like I purchased it somewhere or someone sent it to me so kind of forgetful in my old age so I'm going to try to cut this fairly straight I know I can hear people yelling <laughs> <laughs> don't cut it Michelle I have so many of these though and I would prefer them to be um, to be used in journals and kind of re reuse them to just be stuck in a drawer and you know kind of use it for for beauty so I'm going to kind of cut it 
a little bit bigger than I think I need. But I'm going to try not to cut into that one because um, I want to be able to use it, you know, again. So, but pinking shears might be the best way to go. And we'll kind of cut it straight. It's hand done for sure. But like I said, I mean, I, you know, get these things really, really inexpensive. This one does have little holes in it, so that makes it easier to, to, uh, tear it up, you know. But, you know, just a, a fabric flip. How's that? That's kind of crooked, isn't it? Not too bad, though. I mean, it's going to be that way just because, but, I mean, like the top, I kind of, kind of cut it a little crooked. But I might even cut up part, you know, of the other one and put it in the other signature. Because this is beautiful and it goes so well in here. Yeah. But I want to get all my sewing done. So that's why I'm kind of kind of looking at this. So fabric flip, it just hides your um, journaling. So it's just kind of fun. Fun little thing to, to add. And I made a point to tell myself I've got to uh, start using some of these linens that I have. Uh, I want to put something across the top, so let me get that. Okay, so I was just thinking something like that. I did cut three of them, but they're going to be two. You know, we could still put that on there, couldn't we? Let's do that. They'll go across the whole page, though they're a little bit, a little bit bigger than this. So... Just glue this down, just to tack it in place. Just about centered. That's kind of cute. And then we'll put this. I actually really like that. I'm going to trim this though. Isn't that pretty for a page in here? beautiful and then I want to go ahead and do another one <laughs> for the other for the other journal so I'm going to do I want to tack these maybe I do because I was saying about gluing them down but we can just do a straight stitch over them and it'll be really pretty just one I feel like like I said that this needs a lot of lace and beautiful elements. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. <clears throat> I've lost track of how long I've been <laughs> where I'm at. See, something's way off on here. How come I don't have a middle one for this? Did I move it? Did I lose it? I don't know. One, two, three. I got them all. So, I wonder what I was going to put in the center. Maybe it was this one, which is actually kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Typically, I put something like real, real bright and stuff. Who knows? You guys know how I am. I'm going to kind of look back here. I don't think I have any decorations yet like to make sure I kind of move back and forth, you know, as we're putting. Otherwise, I'll either have it, like, way in the front or way in the back, and then, like, no decorations in the other part. So, two, I thought I could use even some of this crochet lace. This one, I think we might try this guy. These pink and shears, Leslie, are awesome. I did link them below, so if anyone is looking for a good pair, just for paper and fabric and stuff, these are perfect. <coughs> okay, let's see if that is, or could we put both of them? Oops. 
and I'm gonna see that part, but I hate to kind of cut that off. Let's just go, we'll save this one for something else. One thing I forgot to do on the other one is, because this is crocheted, you do want to tack it with your glue, because if you can get a hold of a string, it will totally pull out and ruin your piece. But this is really kind of old. So just put some glue on it just to protect it over the long haul. That will be really cute. Yep, we're gonna do it. Just gonna trim this just a touch. I think that's beautiful. I didn't really have this in mind when I went to look. I was just, I know I have tons of linens and I keep getting more that I need to start using. So I just went in found this and thought it would be perfect. And we'll just kind of glue this down for a minute. I love that. I think that's so pretty. And then that's all the sewing. You know, once we get these sewn in, um, I think that's all the sewing we're going to do. So I am going to move this aside and bring the other one up and sew that. So in tomorrow's video, we're probably going to sew in the signatures. I don't think I'll have enough time for today. But like I said, we got a lot of stuff already made for these, for this journal. So that's really fun. Okay, I do want straight stitch, just because I don't want it to to um, knock down my roses. I kind of want them to have a little bit of bulk. If you do a um, zigzag, I feel like it's gonna kind of knock them down a bit. So, just real simple. I just wanna make sure I'm going over. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? So I still kind of knocked it down a little, and I know I didn't. I didn't go backwards. I don't think I did over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just to make sure it holds holds it and then while I have this one we're gonna put glue down here. Fine something. Just on the crochet part. That way it doesn't come undone. It's awfully pretty though, I like that. I was watching a uh, farmhouse on Boone. And I don't know if you guys know her, but she she has, um, I think she's fixing to have her seventh child, and they're kind of homesteaders and stuff like that. And she had a beautiful postage stamp quilt that she cut in half as decoration for her, her son's bedrooms. So she, like, did half of it, one for his bedroom, or one for one of their beds, like, at the foot of their bed. And then one for the other one. And boy, she got so much flack. And I'm thinking, hmm. Huh. <laughs> Things that we cut. Yeah, there's a little hole there. 
that might have been where the little thing was, but that is so cute. Okay, the other one is a dry enough. We shall see. Just back where it belongs. It won't be too much of a mess. Oops. Got a little hang up there. Uh oh, what happened? I didn't get anything because my needle came undone. <laughs> don't you love that? Yay, let's poke holes where we don't need them. Okay, where's my scissors? Okay, get in there. Sorry. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to try to come up a little. have holes throughout my journal operations. Those are really pretty though. I like that idea. Isn't that pretty? Okay, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and call this one done. And when we come back in tomorrow's video, I believe we are going to sew in these signatures. We have everything, I think. Let's go through real quick and just kind of look and make sure there's nothing else that I want to sew in today. Sometimes you have pockets or something that you want to sew. Kind of, kind of look and see what we have. So this will probably be a floating pocket. If I do put it in, I could glue. Oh, I don't have a uh, card in there. And then this is from um, Lynn, and I did from Lynn. However, she said that the the first idea, the original idea, came from um, Wendy at Wendy's. Wendy's Journals, I forgot what, Journal Adventures or something like that. She has, or as she calls her, Wendy and Leo, if you guys know her. These are cute. These are going to be perfect in here. Isn't that cute? So I have those. Those will probably be pockets. Oh, and I have three of these. I can use them all or not. It just depends. And these would, will have like a journaling card. I don't think that one has one either. <clears throat> then I have these. Then I have this. It's not really pink. It's kind of peachy. But I think it's going to be fine. With some pink roses and stuff. So that will have to go like in a pocket. Another one of these cards. This will go on the edge of a page. Again, I'll probably just trim that down to make it fit. And I'll just glue that on. And then these. I have a lot of stuff for this journal. But look how, I mean, look at this stack. Once you put those in, 
it really adds up and really makes your journal kind of kind of chunky <laughs> so that little pocket and then these two um, paper clips what do you there? so fun this is oh and then this so yeah, I definitely don't want to sew this in because it's really thick and I'm not sure my sewing machine could handle it. So yeah, I think we're, we might not have much more to add other than some tags and some, I think that's about it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye!